So here we are folks with match number 35, it's Iran up against Portugal. So Iran will start their match like this, Berevand in goal, Hassani, Motasseri, Pugajalaji, Razanin, Dijara, Amiri, Shijay, Hasafari, Azmoun and Tarimi up front. As for Portugal, Patricio in goal, Fonte, Alves, Pepe, Moutinho, Cavalho, Gomez, Silva, Sanchez, Ronaldo, Quaresma up front. So here we are, folks, and Portugal will get the match underway, kicking off with their traditional red and green jerseys up against Iran in their, I guess, traditional white jerseys. Now, this match is pretty much a useless affair because both teams have been eliminated. I know, I'm sorry to break it to you, folks, but if you've been following along with my, tut well, not tutorial, but following along with my little, oh my goodness gracious, what an opening for Iran as they finally get themselves to their first goal of the tournament it is finally a first goal of the tournament by Iran it's Taremi with the strike long range effort came out of nowhere really actually I wasn't expecting uh, any goals in this one 20 seconds in Iran have the noses in front but what I was saying is both teams have been eliminated following the results thus far in the tournament Portugal um now, looking like they're going away with their wooden spoon unless they can find themselves a goal of their own. And they're trying their best. But yes, results up against Spain and Morocco have seen both Spain and Morocco battle it up at the top of the table with two, both teams on six points. Uh, the winner of that match will come out on top and uh, they will be taking on the first and second place teams in Group A which have already been decided folks if you haven't checked out the situation of Group A make sure you head over to my YouTube website and check it out uh, there are links to the playlists for each and every group in this description below so check it out so in the real world this match will take place on June 25th at the Mordovia Arena in Saranek or Saresk obviously uh, the match will also take place on the same day as the uh, match 36, which is Spain-Morocco, which we just mentioned. But in this case, in our case, um, it is the Battle of the Wooden Spoon. If you hear any crazy noises in the background, it's the Vuvuzelas of Luna the Dog. She is watching uh, from uh, the stands, cheering on. Who's she cheering on? Portugal? Nah, she's cheering on her arm because they're winning. That's right, Iran have their noses in front with the first goal. Portugal, uh, did they score? Yes, they did uh, score. Tell a lie, they didn't score. Things like uh, they lost to Morocco and they also lost quite heavily to Spain. Uh, probably one of the biggest results in the tournament thus far, the 4-0 defeat to Spain, which uh, really put, them, uh, put the cat amongst the pigeons for the European champions. We're even with Ronaldo up front, not good enough for... Uh, this tournament here in Russia. just It's just not worked out. Portugal do have a really aging squad. And I can see a whole host of these players retiring, at least from international duty, at the end of this World Cup. And Ronaldo could be one of them. He is, what, 32 years of age now. So, um, yeah, we probably will be seeing the last of him. He's already won the European Championships, which is a, is a great honour. Around with a throw. If you're new to this channel, just let you know that we do play two four and a halves, and there is a free kick for Iran. Long way out though. Pumped long. They get it back now on the right hand side. Oh, now that's a more promising free kick. Portugal really playing some nasty football here. Iran looking to get a second. Nicely done. Oh, nice slick passing by Iran. Where was this in the first two games? Where was this? But if you are new and you've never seen one of these FIFA 95 uh, hacked uh, simulations of the World Cup, um, we do play two four and a halves and we are creeping and crawling towards the end of the first half and Iran, as I said, have their noses in front. Headed onwards. A second goal would really wrap it up. And again, this game is meaningless for our simulation. None of these two teams, despite whatever they can do here, are not going to go through to the next round. 
unfortunately, I would have liked to see Portugal go to the latter stages and maybe take on another heavyweight. Um, but they just they just didn't bring their game. Spain were class. Morocco have been class so far. And right now they're getting outschooled, outfought by a stubborn, stubborn Saudi Arabia side. And that is the end of the first half. Iran won. Portugal nil. So Iran will kick us off in the second half, looking for a second goal, perhaps. Now, these two sides have met on two occasions prior to this match, and Portugal have won both of them. The last time that these two met was in the World Cup back in 2006. Uh, was that the German World Cup or was that the South, South African World Cup? 2006. 2010 was Germany, so 2006 was South Africa, I believe. Now we're testing my noggin. It was Germany. It was Germany. That was off the top of my head. I didn't Google it. I didn't Google it. But yes, 2006 World Cup. Uh, Portugal did beat Iran 2-0. Now before that, the only other time that these two sides met was, uh, was in uh, a match way back in 1972. Portugal 3-0 winners on the day. But today, they're looking like they're going away uh, on the losing side. Now, Russia have uh, secured themselves as top of Group A, and they will be taking on the runner-up of Group B. And in second place, runner-up of Group A, I think it is Egypt. They will take on the winners of this group, and you can find out who will be the winner of this group in the match between Spain and Morocco, and you can catch that right here on this channel. So if you want to know when those matches come live hit the subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all things world cup related people a lot of content regarding the world cup coming on this channel over the next few weeks so please stick around and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up especially you Ar iranian fans iranian fans even or, you know when was the last time you saw your boys destroy the current european champions portugal hey yeah that's right Anyway, we're down to the last couple minutes of this game and Iran are going to go away with some precious free points. I don't even know how many games they've won in the World Cup history. I don't even think they've won a game in the World Cup history. But correct me if I'm wrong. If you know uh, Iran's history, let me know in the comment section below. Have they ever won a game actually in the tournament? Or have they just made up the numbers and it doesn't look like they're going to win today as Portugal, despite being under the cosh for the majority of this game, are now level with Iran. Who's the goal scorer? See, Luna's going nuts in the background. She's getting angry. It's Charisma. Ricardo Charisma. She's going nuts. She's singing. She's singing us a little heart out. It's 1-1. One, one. Is there time for a winner? We already thought. We thought that Portugal had gone home. They might still go home. Zoran has a snapshot there. Fair result, to be honest with you. Grand scheme of things, 1-1 one, one would be both these two sides. You know, haven't really delivered. Portugal, obviously, the, the more underwhelming than Iran. You would have expect Iran to be towards the bottom of this group. You would expect Portugal to be the second, at least second side, if not the first side to go through. But um, it's not. It's not worked out that way. But there is still time to separate these two sides. Iran looking for it now. If we can get a strike now, it could go over. Turns and shoots. It's a real good effort. Real good effort, but it doesn't look like it's gonna, it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything more in this game. The time is rapidly running out and Portugal need to find something and they just keep giving it away in midfield. There we go. If he can get a strike off here, you might have a chance and that is a good effort once again. Looks like it's going to be too little too late for Iran. 20 odd seconds. Nice passing. Take a shot, sir. Take a shot. Nice control. Turn and shoot. Oh, boys and girls. Look at that. Iran upset the odds with what is down to be, got to be, the winner. Tarami once again. Another cracking strike from distance. 
And that will separate these two sides because I don't see Portugal get the goal in his last 15 seconds. Full credit to Iran. Unfortunately, you're going to go home, boys. You're joining the likes of Uruguay and Saudi Arabia on your way home. And also Portugal because they're also going home. And that's your lot. Iran 2, Portugal 1. Just a quick look at the statistics. Uh, six shots for Iran, two for Portugal, no corners. As for the goal scoring and exports, Tarami opened it up on 19 seconds. Seconds, Quaresma leveled it, six minutes, 16, and then Tarami won it with 15 seconds left on the clock. As for discipline, nobody in the book. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.